Hello YouTube, I am Lightly Salted and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to U-Boat. Today we're going to cover the TDC mod. For instructions on installing mods, go ahead and check out the video listed in the description below or up here in the corner. Alright, we've gone ahead and found our target ship. Let's go ahead and pull up its designation. And she's an Empire Bell. Now, the TDC button right on in here. Here is your TDC. Let's go ahead and quickly cover some of the settings. Up here at the top, you have the speed control for your torpedoes. Of course, this is only useful when using T1s. By clicking this button, you can change it from 24 knots, 30 knots, 40 knots, and 44 knots. Let's leave it at the designated 30. This handy little fella right here is your speed indicator. This is how fast your target ship is going. This knob right here switches between forward and aft firing torpedoes. You must make this selection if you're going to be using the aft tube. Here we have distance to target. And right down here we have angle on bow. This little fella right here is the length of your target ship. This comes in handy if you wish to shoot multiple torpedoes at your target ship. Now that we've covered some of the controls, let's go ahead and learn how to use it. This here is essentially your on-off button. When the handle is in the up position, there will be a blue light registered here. If the blue light is on, your calculations will not be accepted into the computer. It must have blue lighting off. So now that the TDC is in active mode, let's go ahead and lock onto our target's angle on bow. For angle on bow, please see my last video, link in the description, and possibly up here in the corner. 59 degrees to green. And the way you line this up is, we're on the 50 mark there, and you'll see these small gradient numbers. You want the green number for the green side, red numbers for the red side. So we're at 50 and a bit. 57, 59-ish. Now we want to slave the periscope to the target by flipping this switch right here. And we want it to continuously track that angle on bow. So we will click on this dial here. It doesn't move, you just have to click it and you'll hear a very satisfying thuck. So now we're locked to the target ship with the periscope and you'll hear that by moving the periscope around and that clicking lets you know that where you move your periscope will actually change the angle on bow slightly. Something to note are these two dials here. When both of these dials are at absolute top 12 o'clock, it's letting you know that the torpedo will have to make very minimal course corrections in order to reach target. The closer to absolute top you have both of these dials and they simply just change over time as your angle on bow comes closer to net zero, you go ahead and fire that, and the torpedo will have an easier time making its way to target. Consider it the sweet spot. Now, we require velocity for our ship, which we could get here with the normal chronometer, or we could go to our map, place a point on the target ship, and use the wonderful magical addition to the TDC mod, which is your stopwatch right up here. You start the stopwatch by clicking on the top, unpause the game, let your target travel for 3 minutes and 15 seconds to get its most accurate speed. Another handy little thing for the TDC is your chart located directly above the TDC control here. And this chart will give you pretty accurate speeds based on how long you time the vessel for. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. And let's pause it here. We've now timed the vessel for 60 seconds, one minute. To stop the stopwatch, click on the top, and then click to reset the stopwatch. To hide the stopwatch, click its icon again, and we'll go ahead and throw another point on our ship. Now, in one minute, this ship has traveled 250 meters. According to our chart, in the one minute slot, if a ship traveled 250 meters, they're doing approximately eight knots, 
246.9 meters would be the exact measurement for eight knots. So to use that information, we'll go back to our TDC and we'll program the speed here as eight knots, five, six, seven, and eight. For distance, once again, you can use the stat meter tool from the periscope or we go to our map and we measure the distance to the target ship. Another wonderful advantage of the TDC mod is that it gives you an accurate rep representation of the distance as opposed to rounding it up two square kilometers. So our target ship is exactly 2,446 meters away. We can enter that by using the distance dialer here. 2,000, 2,500, so roughly here is where we want that to be. Now, as this is a mod, it doesn't work perfectly. In order to use the TDC values that we've calculated, we have to switch the game's settings to accept the TDC mod. Easiest way to do that is unlock from your target ship, pull up your torpedo bay, and take a look at this switch right here. It's currently set to red, meaning the TDC is not active. You are not pulling calculations from the TDC. Switching it to green funnels the calculations from your TDC interface into the game itself. We'll relock, and let's go ahead and flood a tube. As we can see, we have a little bit of time before the gyros come to full top zero, so we'll just wait a moment before we fire. Ensure you remember about your fat and lit settings. You don't want this thing veering off course before time. And we're coming up on a very optimal firing position here. So let's go ahead and fire the torpedo. Torpedo is away. Looks like it's on course. Let's go ahead and follow it to target. And the solution's looking good to me. Good stuff. So that, everybody, is how to use the TDC. Help me out by hitting like, maybe subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. Until next time, I have been Lightly Salted. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.